I recently discovered a new hobby that I kept putting away for the longest time, but decided it was time to dive into it, and I had such big plans for this video. I'm usually not one to regret any decisions that I take, nor am I one to give up halfway. I did just those two this time round. Here's two of my pet peeves in a video for the whole white world to see my failures. If you're new here, my name is Chimmy and I make videos every week to add value to you as I do to myself. I usually share about some discoveries I've made, some of my experiences that can add value to you, or even some social experiments. Today though, is going to be one of my failures. I recently came across this miniature kit on Amazon and was completely sold on it. I would have ordered everything I saw in a heartbeat, but I had to control myself. I've left miniature stuff for the longest time, but never delved into it. I was about to start a class to make miniatures just before the pandemic, but the lockdown that came into force in March of 2020 that was postponed indefinitely. I recently came across a video on YouTube about these miniature houses and scenes and it was love at first sight. In a heartbeat, I found it on Amazon and ordered a set. I was going to clear up my bookshelf to make room for more of these that was going to come in the future. I was well aware that this was going to turn out to be quite expensive and rather pointless other than the fact that it is something I enjoy and I'm passionate about. But that was good enough a reason for me to keep going. When the box arrived, I was a little taken aback by the number of things that came from the box and the mere size of it kind of freaked me out. But I thought it would be okay when I started doing it. I knew it was going to take hours and it's going to be a slow process. But I started off anyways. My first hurdle was the location and logistics. I couldn't find a suitable place for me to comfortably do this without having to pack and unpack each time. So I had set up a station in my living room, which I thought would be good. Bear in mind, while I'm doing this, I'm 33 weeks pregnant and my back hurts all the time regardless of what I'm doing or not. So this wasn't a very good idea to begin with, neither was it a very good timing. Then I realized the silicone glue that was recommended for this product wasn't really good. It didn't do the one thing that it was meant to do, stick two things together. As per the instructions, I started off with the sofa, but that failed miserably because the glue wouldn't stick. So I moved on to the next thing, a fruit basket and some of the books. I got extremely tired by the time I cut up the books and tried to stick it with a super glue instead. It's not called super glue for no reason. I almost glued my fingers together permanently. At the end of what seemed like an eternity, I was left with some super glue on my finger and a blood clot on another finger from trying to cut the fruit basket. After a couple of days, or maybe even after weeks of postponing, I managed to finish the fruit basket, four books, a coffee table, and a small vase. It definitely wasn't the best job I could have done. I made a mess out of the whole area, packed up everything away, thinking I'm not going to go back to it anytime in the near future for sure. I just started it at such a wrong time. Last year would have been perfect timing, but just not now or any time in the near future once a baby is born. Or I should have probably had more self-control instead of ordering it immediately without thinking of anything else. Sometimes we don't act wisely and it's actually okay to do that. Use it as a reminder to be more mindful next time 
It's okay if you don't finish something. It's not the end of the world. What really matters is that you do what makes you happy and what you are passionate about. As long as it doesn't cause you or anyone else any harm, there's no reason you should stop. Here's to wishing you all the very best in whatever you wish to do, whatever you're passionate about. Give it a go. Give it a try. Regardless of what the outcome may be, don't regret your decisions. You would have definitely learned something from every experience that you go through in life.